Rice County tornado warning was canceled about 30 minutes ago. Let's get to our Jason Allen. He's live in that area now, uh, surveying uh, the situation. What's it looking like where you are, uh, Jason, and, and where are you? Uh, a lot of heavy rain, Ken, and we are on Highway 380. We are just east of Decatur, and so we're headed toward Denton. As you mentioned, a lot of places still in North Texas right now waiting to see some of this weather develop as we switch to our dash camera here in the Storm Chaser. It has already been a very long afternoon for people out here in Wise County. We've been through severe thunderstorm warnings. We've been through a tornado warning. We have had some of that pea-sized hail on up to quarter-sized hail. And one of the things that Scott mentioned with these storms is they've continued to kind of train over this area. I'm going to switch, try to switch to our roof cam just to give you a shot here on the side of the road. We are starting to notice a, 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 some localized flooding in some of these areas, and we knew that that might be an issue, especially when you get these storms just training over the same area, and it's been doing that for a couple of hours. So we're going to pass kind of a, a creek and a runoff way right there, if you see out the side. Uh, so the creeks, the local creeks are starting to fill up. Uh, we're starting to see some heavy runoffs on the roads and in the medians. Uh, definitely not a safe place to get off the road right now. You can get onto the shoulders, but beyond that, a lot of these uh, roads along the Highway 380 have been flooded and the rain continues to, uh, to come up. So these have been some strong storms. We were in that tornado warning. We felt the strong winds but didn't see any rotation on the ground, uh, but definitely some significant storms to start the afternoon out here in Wise County. Ken, back to you. All right, Jason, thank you very much. Appreciate it. We're going to check back with you in a little bit. Power outages now. Let's talk about those. Want to check in with Carrie Dunn with Encore. Carrie, do you guys even have any power outages at this point? Hey, Brooke. So, as of right now, we have about 1,500 customers without power throughout the Dallas Fort Worth Metroplex. Uh, we've been preparing for this weather event throughout the week. Uh, we're monitoring it along with the National Weather Service and our own in house meteorologists. We also have uh, pre positioned line workers and equipment to make sure that restoration can begin once this severe storm threat passes through. Uh, so we just want to encourage everyone to please remain weather aware, continue to, to watch the news, watch you guys stay up to date by downloading our My Encore app, and we'll be on it. Yeah, and Carrie, can you talk a little bit about how the crews are getting ready for this once that severe weather does roll through, if we do have any significant outages? Absolutely. So we just make sure we have all of our staff standing by. We have equipment already pre-positioned out across throughout our service territory. So as soon as the weather conditions allow, whether that's later tonight or first thing tomorrow morning, we'll be out there and that work will continue around the clock to make sure that everyone who does go out gets restored as quickly and safely as we can. All right, Carrie, we'll stay on top of it. We'll check back in with you later. Thank you so much. Well, we did anticipate that this would happen. The severe weather, of course, prompting several school districts to cancel after school activities. Our Robbie Owens live for us now in the Preston Hollow area of Dallas. The damage done there in October, Robbie, uh, very much on the tops of minds for school leaders. Absolutely, Ken. You need only look around here months later to see the severity of the tornado damage that was done here. And this is just a, a, just a corner of the damage. Although we were warned, we still weren't expecting damage like this. So school leadership at Bishop Lynch High School today specifically referencing the October tornado outbreak when deciding to end the school day early. They dismissed students at noon so they and their parents could get off the roads early. We're not just a neighborhood school and because we have students that come from over 70 zip codes, we have to, it's a very complex situation for us to try to manage. Knowing that everybody will be able to arrive home safely and not be on the streets when the worst of the weather is expected to come through the area uh, is a source of comfort and uh, allows us to meet our responsibility for the safety of the students. Now, Bishop Lynch High School has about a thousand students, so while it is complex, it's still more manageable than, say, canceling school in Dallas with its roughly 150,000 students. They did not send students home early, but late this afternoon sent notices to parents that all after school activities would be canceled. Same situation in Fort Worth, Grand Prairie, Lancaster, Cedar Hill, all sending out notices that basketball games would be rescheduled. They want everyone to get off the roads and get home safely. This is all far from over. We'll talk to parents ahead at 4.30. Live in the Preston Hollow area of Dallas, Robbie Owens, CBS 11 News. Hey, Robbie.